German business. Everything happening in your country is not your business. Huh? And you don't even know that. Huh? You sit and you look at the convention, look at the news. Hmm? Donald Trump, if you go to apply for a job collecting garbage, they want to see your last year's tax return. Here's a man running for president. He haven't showed his, and the press haven't asked him, and you don't feel something? Hmm? You don't feel nothing? And the reason you mess with your children, because if you mess with white folks, they'll hurt you. Hmm? Walk around talking about these black children with their pants below their butt. The folks that killed Jesus didn't have their pants below their butt. The mafia never wore their pants below their butt. The folks that rip you off every day never wore their pants below their butt. So what you talking about? Somebody called me and asked me, Mr. Gregor, you have 10 children and never been no scandal that you know of. What do you think about these youngsters walking around with their pants below their butt? I said, I can't say nothing about it. What do you mean? I used to drink a fifth of scotch every day for 30 years. You know how many times I drove home drunk? Which is a felony. Walking with your pants below your butt is not a felony. Huh? But you ain't going to mess with the people that's doing the crime. I don't hear you talking about dope pushes. It's sad to go across this country, and all y'all talking about is Trump, and Trump ain't never shot a nigga in the head 40 times. But you worrying about Trump. Trump crazy, he ignorant, and he's put there to do something, and you falling for the sucker's trick. Hmm? Hmm? He can say anything he want to say. Hmm? The most powerful Republicans in America is not them crackers you know. It's the Ford family, the Rockefeller family, hmm? the DuPont family. And if them crackers didn't go along with what they said, they'd kill him just like they did Kennedy, huh? And y'all don't see this? Y'all sitting around going along for the ride, and the ride don't even pertain to you. Hmm? Hmm? You send your children to war? Hmm? You. They come back with their leg missing. And the same Vietnamese Iranian that shot it off can come here and open up a drugstore on the corner where he lived. And he can't even open up. And that don't bother y'all? Hmm? That don't bother y'all? Especially you niggas running all this African stuff. Hmm? You niggas walking around talking about black folks was here a billion years for white folks. It's longer than that. Then if you know that, how come you don't know everything white folks put out there came from you, they just changed it and put a science on it, huh? That's all. That's all. I'm talking about the God that made the moon, the sun, the stars, the oceans. Huh? That's the one I'm talking about. That's the one that made you. Huh? And then all of us, y'all join and all these other, I got no problem with that. Hmm? This brother owns the biggest bank in the world. He's my father. Why I'm coming over here to this church when they ain't got no money, when I can go right to my dad, and y'all don't know that? Hmm? And then when you go to the real God, you're no more bullshit. Oh, Father, come on, please. Your mortgage is due. The universe just say, hey, champ, fix it. That's all. Y'all sitting there, all the bullshit and all the stuff you do. Next time you walk down the street, next time you watch TV, the richest Christians in the world, the ones I named, they don't wear crosses. The Pope don't wear no cross. And the reason you wear it, because you got to convince people through this, you're a Christian, because your behavior, they wouldn't know it. Hmm? Okay. All right. Check your children to Disneyland and let them get on rides that ain't even safe. 
Hmm? Huh? Somewhere. We the only man in the world, a black man, that will look at you and say you a strong sister, but call his car beautiful. Hmm? And it works. You the only woman on the planet that go to a place called a beauty parlor. So evidently somebody convinced me you ugly and convinced you you ugly. Because if you see me going in a dentist's office, you assume something wrong with my teeth. No place in the world is it called beauty parlor except for you. And you don't even understand that. Huh? All over the world, it's called hair salon. Huh? So y'all walk around thinking y'all all you know how to do is cook barbecue. White boy lie on you from time he wake up in the morning to the time he go to bed at night. You know all you got to do is Malaysian airline disappeared. And the white folks said, Where you think it is? Oh, it's in my backyard. They lie to you, tell them that. Huh? No, you scared to lie to him. You lie to me and on me. Huh? Hmm? They got you believing the word cracker is a racial slur. It's not. They got you believing the word honky is a racial slur. It's not. Prostitution is for white men. Hmm? When a news guy from CBS asked me, so you mean black men? I said, man. Me and my sister was in the slave ship. We was dealing. She didn't have a job. I didn't have it. I had old money to pay for some pussy. Hmm? <laughs> Hear me now. So at the Democratic Convention tonight, the whole houses is about 75 miles away. So when that white boy go there, won't nobody see him. When I went to college, the biggest whole house in Carbondale was Ma Hatcher, the black woman, but black men can't come because they wasn't for us. So tonight when they get through with the stuff and they get in the car and drive down to the whole house, when they get there, the dude will honk the horn. Honk, honk, that's where the word honky came from. Hmm? Okay? That's where it came from. But they convince you it's a racial slur. Redneck cracker is right here, is where the nerves come together. Okay? And in the hot sun, when they sit out in it or work in it, this turns red. Mine can't turn red, so it ain't talking about me. Hmm? And it looked like a white soda cracker. That's where it come from. So y'all think y'all qualified to teach your children? You not. My mama told me Santa Claus was a white man and she was buying the toys. That's, right. hmm? That's my mama. Y'all worrying about the Klan, it's in the house with you. Hmm? Okay, you think all you got to do is feed them? Huh? The universe determines what food is going to be raised and what's not. They make you a shame of watermelon. God made watermelons, not the Klan. Huh? This is the whole game. The whole game. Somewhere. You want to see the true God? Let's leave here and go to Walmart. 90% of the people are women. Most of them haven't finished high school. A lot of them can't read or write. Most of them working for below minimum wage. They got over two million items in Walmart. And you walk up to one of them sisters who you think is dumb and say, where will I find the uh, bacon soda? Say, I was 17 down by the floor. So when did she get dumb? Huh? When did she get dumb? But well, they can twist everything around and make you believe there's no such thing. And the word God means power 
No, it got nothing to do with no spirit. That's why they call the gangster mob Godfather, and nobody gets upset. That's all it means. My mama thought goddamn was using God's name in word. If you said goddamn, God means power. Damn is to box up something. So if you ever been pregnant, when you feel that boxing up, that's the damn. That's why the water bag breaks. Huh? We ain't got nothing to do with it. Sit around and talk about men. Men what? Billions of years when people was here. Wasn't nobody getting married? Huh? So all you got to do is knock me up, nigga, and get on out of town. Hmm? But y'all don't understand that because this white evil creature have changed the whole rules. And you buy it. Hmm? You buy it. Well, the universal God had already taken care of that. 1985, he started sending another group of children here. Y'all know about the indigo children? Hmm? And most of the indigo children that's born to black folks end up killed. Not by you. You think that children shouldn't talk to you that way. So you send them to doctors and they put them on Ritalin and stuff. And they die. Hmm? That's what this is about. And I don't know how we're going to undo you sisters. It's our fault. I don't know how we're going to undo it. Some of y'all get up in the morning and look like you look in the mirror and say, now what can I do to make myself look worse than I look? Hmm? Hmm? Men make high heel shoes, but they don't wear them. Hmm? Hmm? Men wear, make lipstick and all that paws and stuff. Hmm? If you left here tonight and had an accident and fractured your skull, before they can cut on you, they got to take that nail polish off or the, they owe your family a $100,000. That's how messed up it is. Y'all got on your children and all that, huh? And you don't know it. Somewhere, somewhere, have the children lie. Tell them I'm not here. When you have a child lie for you, they will lie to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I love about you is messed up as you are. Mr. and Mrs. Maddox, mm -hmm. they never had to depend on white folks for nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't need that, Tony. I don't need that. Somewhere, the most powerful black man in America is Al Sharpton. It ain't got nothing to do with what you think about him. Huh? He's on white TV five days a week. Then they cut it down to one. He's on Kathy Hughes station five days a week. At any time there's any trauma between black and white cop, Brother Al. Hmm? Hmm? But when the Pope came to America, and the only time he went someplace black was that black school in Harlem, not only was Al not invited, he was sent out of town. And if you like him or not, that should bother you. Huh? That should bother you, because they're not treating him like that. They're treating all of us like that. That's how they feel. Hmm? Hmm? Walk down the street, and you can't get a cab, even though you had a black mayor. Hmm? I mean, especially, I listen to you black folks on these talk shows, and the one beautiful thing about you, especially you Christians, when you talk about voting for the lesser of the two evils, you never said you were spiritual or honest. Hmm? And you feel comfortable. Hmm? Your grandmother's sick. She got to be operated on. You got to go into the hospital. And there's only two people left can take care of this one guy who rape old women once a month. And this other one 
that rape 10 a day, and you're going to pick one between them? Huh? That's the lesser of the evils. But you feel comfortable with it. Huh? Oh, I don't want to hear what you say. All you niggas say the same thing. No, you don't. Cop coming in and say, y'all get out of here, I'll kill you. I know I'm going to die, and most of y'all say you're going to die too. I've been black 85 years, nigga, I know you. Huh? You can lie to white folks, I know you. Huh? This is what the game is. This is what the game is. And that's why Brother Matty, Matt and his wife, he's here because he never had to depend on filth. Oh, he can't get in the New York Times. But who wants to get in there? Huh? You hear me? That's what this is about. And every time I wake up in the morning, I think about that brother and his wife. Hmm? And I think about all the ones that they pick and play around with. And so I'm looking at that convention last night just to see if they developed some new lies. <laughs> and they happen. Somebody asked me in Spain, they said, how do you know Trump was gay? Because he never talked about homosexuals. <laughs> you don't have to be smart to figure that out. And if you get a good look at him, you see that little thing come over him. And he one of them white gays that hate women. When y'all see him talking that stuff, that's that other thing. Hmm? And then they go out and think they get beautiful women to throw you off. They get glamorous women. The universe made beauty, not glamour. Hmm? So this is the game. Y'all sit around worrying about your children on drugs. <laughs> More of y'all in this room will die from a stroke of high blood pressure in the next six months than will OD from hard drugs in the next five years. Ain't that scary? Huh? You get up in the morning, in order to eat bacon and eggs, you got to take 20 pills. <laughs> Follow them cracks around. They don't have to do this. Get some crack. Take it, huh? But you don't know that. All y'all walking around on crutches and all of that, that came from what you was eating, huh? There ain't no cracker jumped on you and beat you up and left you in that condition. You got it at home. And you can't change it because you're addicted to it just like they're addicted to drugs. Hmm? Some, some of y'all will take your children to Disneyland to see a rat. <laughs> but you haven't carried him to King's grave or his tomb and that he not died you wouldn't be welcome in Disneyland. Y'all are a bunch of ungrateful, unthankful dogs, and you don't know it. Hmm? Every time you get a gallon of milk, you pay tax to this filthy wench, so you're responsible. See, the church might look the other way, but the real God, I know I got to go. I just came back on a flight, Budapest. $42,000 round trip, first class. 12% of that went to buy gun. I know it when I look into the mirror. I see a nigga hating no good piece of shit. Okay, you don't see that. But we're going to go the same way. You don't have to know it. You listen to these folks from Donald Trump, all that, not one of them say he's a racist. Hmm? Not one news purpose say he's a racist. Because they are. Whole lots of people like that. Oh, I got to go get an x-ray for cancer. But doctor, if you find it, don't tell me. And they mean that. And that's what these white folks do. Huh? 
and the nigga join them, they got a right to. Why you mad? If you're, you're not upset over some nigga that's been reduced to an animal. Huh? You win the billion dollar lottery, you ain't going out looking for no hungry folks. Huh? That's what this is about. And all over the world, Brother Maddox, they know him. Hmm? Maddox didn't get disappointment when the Pope came. He knew he wasn't going to get an invitation. Hmm? Maddox knew he wasn't going to get a, a speaker's platform to talk. He knew that. And he don't need it. Hmm? One of the fine minds in the history of law. Huh? One of the fine minds in the history of law. Huh? He don't need it. Willing to die. He ain't got no bunch of bodyguards around him pushing y'all out the way. Hmm? I've always been listed in the phone, but why? Because it was black folks that made me, not white folks. White folks came to see me after you discovered me. Hmm? You came and caught me before I was funny. And stayed with me till I got so funny they took me downtown where you couldn't come. So that's why I'm listed in the phone book, and that's why I spent millions of dollars. And I said to my wife, I didn't have to, so we'd be clear about it. Hmm? Liberation is not in this house. Huh? And what you all done for me, my children didn't have to wait for Christmas to get a bicycle. Bicycles is not made for Christmas. Roller skates is not made for That's just an excuse you have to have to let them know to be here, but not right now. Y'all took me out of that group. Hmm? And I say thanks. Hmm? I say thanks. Hmm? When it came to a choice, do I pay for the private schools for these children, or do I feed it into the movement? It goes to the movement. And one thing about you niggas, when you get ready to go to war, you don't ask how will this affect my children. You just go. Huh? And don't ask for nothing when you come back. Hmm? Somewhere. And so when I come here and I look at you, I see another reflection. Another reflection. Hmm? And y'all got to fall in love with niggas that don't even like you. Hmm? Hmm? And when you find out, you can't change. Queen Mother Moore, she's the one that turned Michael Garvey in to the FBI. Okay? But y'all don't know that. And when you find out about it, you don't even want to hear it. Hmm? Well, give white folks the same pleasure. When they find out how nasty and dirty they are, huh? then let them take the same slides you give niggas who you like. Hmm? Somewhere. Alex Haley ain't wrote none of that stuff. How many of y'all know that? None of it. None of it. Alex Haley came out of naval intelligence to get Malcolm. Hmm? Hmm? Muhammad Ali. I've been all over the world, go anywhere I want to go. Never experienced what I experienced at Muhammad Ali's funeral. Hmm? At his funeral. Hmm? Not because he went to Yale or Harvard or Howard. Because he was able to do something. Because somebody stole his bike. Y'all know the story? His daddy bought him a bike. 
And the first day, somebody stole it. Had it not been for that, he'd have been just every other poor ghetto nigga. But he was looking for the bike. And he ran around the corner. And he saw this building, he went in. Old nigga hating redneck cracker cop ran a gymnasium to teach people how to box, and that's how he started. From a negative, looking for the bike. What are you looking for? Huh? It's out there waiting for you. Huh? What are you looking for? Huh? Somewhere. It's a rhythm. A rhythm. You can't hear thunder. It don't tell you I'm coming. So you so busy learning this white boy's bullshit, you lost the rhythm. Hmm? I look at the, the Muslims, the caressing Ramadan stories when what? Come on, help me. Huh? What? No, look, don't just yell out. We're not here to trick nobody. Huh? If you don't know, you don't know. When I ask you something, I'm asking somebody who might know. Otherwise, shut up. <laughs> it's a caressing moon towards Ramadan. Huh? Caressing. Hmm? The French made a croissant. Sounds like croissant and put ham on it. That's how they feel about you. Hmm? Hmm? And the next time you buy one of them croissants, look at the crescent moon, they both the same. Hmm? But you don't say nothing to them crackers. Hmm? Somewhere. And when Muhammad Ali came through, he found out something he didn't know. When he started boxing, thirteen of the richest white men in Louisville, in Kentucky, owned his contract. And he didn't have to go to the draft board. They came to him and said, You 4F, you can't come. And then when his contract was up, and he signed with Herbert and the Muslims, they came back and said, oh, we made a mistake. You eligible for the draft. That's what made him mad. Wasn't no nigga nothing. He didn't know white folks had that much power. And he'd never been the same since then. Never been the same. They knew they couldn't get him to throw a fight. Hold that in. Yeah. You don't have to throw it away. I'm just saying, don't sit there and make all that noise with it. <laughs> so they got Sonny Liston to throw the fight. And Sonny Liston was so angry, he waited till Ali took his hand back, and then he fell. And the white folks said, it was the invisible punch. See, he was reacting to a punch that hit him three counts back. Hmm? Hmm? George Foreman in Africa. Hmm? First they killed his dog because they wasn't gonna go along with it. And then the manager said, well, uh, this is between me and you. Give me $500,000, I'll handle it. And they gave it to him. And two weeks later, they found him dead in Oakland. And to George Foreman's credit, his last book he wrote, he talked about. And I was so sure he was going to say, 
Ali knew something about it, but he didn't. He said, he didn't know nothing about it. They put it into my water, and when they sponged me down, I felt myself getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And those of y'all that follow basketball, the tournament that just ended, the boy's wife said the game is fixed, and that didn't mean nothing. But some white dude on TV said you'd have been upset. His wife said the game is fixed. Huh? Basketball is a trillion-dollar industry. Them niggas that play basketball ain't never had no money. Huh? So you think they care about them? Or you? Huh? Super Bowl. Huh? Y'all so crazy. You think they're going to let that gangster white boy fix the retire, lose to a young nigga that can outplay God? Huh? Did you see Did you see the Super Bowl, bro? Did you see they stopped the game eight, eight times to tighten up their cleats? Because they had something in their cleats and something in that grass. That's why them niggas kept tripping and falling. Huh? And when the brother dropped that ball and didn't reach for it, and you didn't see nothing because you're so busy looking for something to fill in that void, You do not live in a community, huh? A community where you control your cops, you control your banks, you control your education. You live in a hood, and a hood is something you put around your head when you're trying to hide something. Hmm? What? Right. Right. That's all it is. Somewhere. Oh, they give you the O.J. Simpson? How many of y'all knew that O.J. Simpson couldn't read or write? Did it bother you, the fact he wrote all the way through the trial? Huh? Okay. And yet and still, they can run that game down. Hmm? Did it bother you during the car chase? When thousands of white folks was up on the viaduct, how they know which way he coming? Huh? Well, all the go juice go, you my man. Huh? And the way they got your head messed up, you ain't even fit to raise children. Huh? Somewhere, somewhere when you see what they're doing. See what they're doing. And black folk got a right. But one day just sit and put yourself as a Jew. And that's why y'all be messing with Jews. You ain't gonna mess with the real people because they will hurt your ass. Hmm? Hmm? You know the Jews don't control this. You know that. Huh? But you act like the Mexicans. Come over here and got your job. Nigga, you didn't have no job. <laughs> you was in a racist union that wouldn't even let you take apprenticeship to run those big machines, huh? <laughs> the Mexicans, because of what you think about, Mexicans built Mexico. Huh? We built America. The Chinese built the railroad. We always had somebody help. They built it. So when they come over here and couldn't read or write, they knew how to run them cranes. Huh? They knew how to build big bills. Mexico City, one of the finest cities in the world, built by Mexicans. Huh? You ain't built nothing. Huh? So this is what this is about. And thank God there's some young folks coming through. You're damn right, you've been here a long time. But don't nobody want to say, how'd you lose it? Hmm? How'd you lose it? When Kennedy had that fake funeral, Kennedy didn't die in Dallas. 
He died April of 71 on a NASA's island. Huh. That's a game. But they found out something they didn't know. When the world came here for the funeral, number one, Halla Selassie. And them crackers didn't know he had the number one track of blood. And see, this will never happen again. That's why they killed him. Now we can have some funerals. Huh? That's what this is about. Huh? Oh, that's your fault. Ain't mine. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. I want y'all to hear this. I spend millions of dollars for research. I don't want to hear nothing y'all say. Huh? You hear me? I'm the one released the pictures with Ron Brown with the bullet in the back of his head. Huh? I learned a long time ago, truth don't have to be validated by your ignorance. Huh? Huh? I've been mad 56 years, okay, for one reason. My wife's father was a preacher. She's one of them Christians She forgot I got her pregnant. <laughs> and I said, now, if you want this to work, because I don't care. If you want it to work, then it ain't about love. It's can you be lovable. <laughs> then I'm safe with you, and you safe with me. Up until now, I'll just give me some pussy. <laughs> hmm? OK? All right? Y'all want to run to Egypt and look at the pyramid? You ought to look at them Egyptians over there. We ain't got a ghetto in America that can equal what they got over there, but you run over there. Huh? All you got to do is look in the mirror. That's where the pyramid come from. It's your nose. And people go over there to sleep under the pyramid. All you got to do is sleep on your back and you under the pyramid and you get a billion times more energy than that raggedy ass thing over there. Hmm? The seven wonders of the world, none of them did God make. The moon ain't one. The sun's not one. The ocean's not one. Life is not one. That's why y'all walk around with more ignorant looks on your face and there ain't nobody scared of your meanness but another nigga. White folks don't give a damn about it. Hmm? But I tell you what, if the last two years these cops had they been killing white folks' dog, every police station would be burnt to the ground. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Okay? Y'all talk all that bullshit. But you're not going to do nothing. Fear. And that's what this brother and his wife do. Hmm? Don't have to be validated. Huh? And he can come in here or come to one of his own rallies and see power. Hmm? This is what this is about. Hmm? And somewhere, when you stop and think about who you are, we ain't going to use the word nigger. Do you know it wasn't one black person in the room when that decision was made? And if you think it was, name him. Huh? Huh? Not one. And that don't bother you? That's like the, telling the Jews uh, we're not going to use the word swastika no more. We're just going to say the S word. Hmm? One day men going to feel bad for how we've been raping you, so we ain't going to use the word rape no more. We're going to call it the R word. Hmm? White boy walk up to you tonight and call you the N word and hit you, that's not a hate crime. Call you a nigga and hit you, go to federal court. That's what this is about. That's what this is about. Somewhere. Hmm? Somewhere. 
You don't have to go to Harvard. Everything they doing in Harvard, they stole from us. Huh? Y'all didn't say that loud, so let's shut up. <laughs> Howard University, named after a nasty white general that became famous for killing Indian children, General Howard. That's where the name came from. Huh? Spellman, the most powerful black college in the world. Named after Rockefeller's mother, Spellman Rockefeller. Hmm? Hmm? But that don't bother y'all. Hmm? Somewhere. Somewhere. And so when I went to Ali's funeral, I saw something coming. They got to create some filth now. See, that caught them off guard. They didn't know the world felt about him the way the world did, hmm? at all. Now they learn, so just mark my word. Huh? They'll be coming out with something, and your answer should be, so what? That's all, that's all. No more, no less. Hmm? Somewhere, that white boy convinced me that you were ugly, and I'll convince you that you ugly. Hmm? Ooh, you got a fine ass. That's what God made for the doo-doo. Not no sex, nothing. The bigger your ass, the more doo-doo you got in it. And if you don't believe that, take a knife and slut your ass and see if diamonds run out. Doo-doo gonna run out. But they got you switching, huh? Go to the zoo and look at the gorilla's ass. That ain't no sex symbol to no gorilla. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, can you guess what this is? Huh? Vaseline. Vaseline. No, 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 in the back. <laughs> Vaseline. No, that ain't the whole name. Petroleum jelly, Vaseline. Petroleum is gasoline. This is made from gasoline. You rub it on the baby when it's two days old, huh? You put it all over your body. Gasoline, and they don't have to work. Because... Black folks and white folks, you the same. You the same. Vaseline, petroleum, jelly. Hmm? This is a game. Because you're not listening to the universe. Hmm? And when you leave here tonight, you can't wipe it out overnight. I got rid of mine first. I had to own a ship that I ain't nothing but a piece of doo-doo. I'm the same thing white folks are because I pay for it. Huh? I go to war. They ain't never sent me nowhere to liberate black folks. It's always going to, in any place in Africa that don't have no minerals, they have no wars. When you look at them Africans over there with them boots, them niggas don't make boots. Look at them with them guns. Them niggas don't make no guns. Something in the ground I want. Yes. That's who you are. That's who you are. And some of you don't even know you're not to pray for the same thing twice. That's a stone violation. I left my wallet at home. Can I get $5 from you when I get through? Absolutely. Now, if I ask him again, it means I have no faith in you. Hmm? The God that put everything together, and you ask God one time. And from that point on, 
from that point on, you and the Spirit will thank you. I know I'm going to get it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Huh? I can tell him thank you because I know I'm going to get it. You praying to the, there's a book out called Chaos. They got a thing about the butterfly syndrome. The butterfly park in Peking. They have a butterfly park. Butterflies right now flapping their wings in Peking decide what your weather gonna be like nine months later. New York, y'all think y'all so bad, huh? Nine months later, huh? that's what happened. Huh? Somewhere, your birthday, what day you born then? 21st, you celebrate on the 20th. Yeah, that's when all the stuff gets cut loose for nine months. All that baby has to eat is your urine, and we're not drinking up water. It kicks, and they want to say morning, and say, no, drink up. And then 24 hours before they come out, all them cables connect, and the baby starts coming down the fallopian tube. That's why Christmas represents the birthday of Jesus Christ. Ain't it called Christmas Eve party? Hmm? New Year's. Represent the birthday, ain't it called New Year's Eve party? And there's a whole lot of cities on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve, we can go out having a party and we can call a cab and that cab got to take us home for free or he can go to jail. Hmm? The day you was born, I can count 270 days back and I know when you was conceived. Add it for me. Two plus seven is what? Plus zero is what? That's why they call it nine months pregnant. Huh? Y'all have it, a gift from the universal God, and you don't even know what it means. All the armies on the planet, when you nine months pregnant, they can't open up your legs and keep that baby in you, and that's the one you ought to be with. Did you hear me? Yes. It don't mean if you're not on welfare. It don't mean if you can read or write. The universal God don't even play that. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. You got a check and account, miss? No? Well, I'm going to do you a favor. I get an old age pension check. Mine's mailed to the bank. 98% of black folks don't have a check in the car because they can't read or write. So they mail it to your house. If they mail it to the bank, that costs 42 cents. They mail it to the house, that costs $400 each way. Why? Because when they go out, we have to have an accounting system to make sure the government folks ain't stealing it. When you cash it and they come back, they got to trace it. Hmm? A penny, a little penny. Hmm? To make a penny in America, it costs a dollar forty-four cents. Hmm? See what? Businessmen in America are the slickest, hippest. In the whole world, you mean they're going to participate in a system that it cost me a dollar forty-four cents to make a penny? No. They know Abraham Lincoln's daddy was a black man, huh. and you take all your coins and put it there. Which one look like a nigger? Hmm? That's what it's about. Huh? That's what it's about. The biggest TV show out there. Thank you. It's called the, the Oscar. Hmm? Oscar? Thank you. Why don't they tell us? Two billion people look at the Oscars, but they don't tell you what Oscar is.
two black brothers invented the movies, came here and opened up Oscar Michelle. Huh? That's who invented movies. Huh? They will name it that, but they won't tell you why it's dark and look like you, or where did they get the name from? Hmm? Somewhere. And so I just say to you, you have a power when you understand you got a power. Hmm? You understand it. I don't have to tell you you are somebody. And the only reason I can tell you that is because you don't know how you got here. Hmm? My testicles hold my sperms because sperms live at a body temperature two degrees below your body temperature. Huh? And then they come up they got to go through the prostate to get the electrical charge. And then it goes into you. And every time I have a sexual discharge, 500 million sperms come out. So the one responsible for you, like the one responsible for me, and the one responsible for Queen Elizabeth, outran a half a billion sperms and got there first. Huh? What a race, huh? Didn't know one sperm come out and slowly strolled up the fallocchio too. <laughs> so as long as you don't know that, they can reduce you down. Huh? Queen Elizabeth made $360 million every 24 hours. Did you hear me? How many of y'all know that Queen Elizabeth cannot go into London without getting permission? Thank you. Why? Because London's not part of Britain. Huh. London runs the world. And in order for her to go, she got to get permission from the Lord Mayor. And if they give it to her, she got to come through the back gate called the temple's gate where they do the devil ritual and she got to come dressed as a servant. So who told you that wench was a queen? Hmm? Ball up your fist there. Now if Queen Elizabeth had her fist next to yours, the same universal God that made her is made yours. Huh? God made women and men made queens. God made men and men made kings. The difference between a woman and a queen and a man and a king is the way you wrap the gift. Hmm? That's all. The way you wrap the gift. Oh, baby, I love you. And, uh, somebody.